Hey everyone, welcome back to Cartopolis TCG. Today, very exciting, we have the Adventure Time Trial Deck Plus Tom Box for you guys. Uh, just kind of take a look at what it is. Um, this is an English exclusive set, uh, so you know, Jap Japan doesn't get this, but really, really good way to get introduced into Y Schwartz. Um, I know I don't I don't play, but I love Adventure Time, so I'll definitely be checking out this game and learning how to play. Um, so I don't know what a lot of the cards do, but luckily I'm joined with Dakota, who has been playing for quite some time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then looking at the back, uh, there is a chance to get some foil cards in this. Like two out of the 50 cards in this trial deck are shiny, chance of getting a triple rare, or an exclusive SP signed. And there's two different types of SPs with the signatures of the voice actors for Finn and Jake. So that's pretty awesome. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky and pull that on camera today. So without further ado, uh, oh, and really quick, uh, the nice thing about this is that there's a booster set that came uh, right along with it with the release. So you can upgrade this right out of the gate with the booster box. So that's pretty nice too. So we'll go ahead and crack this open. So it looks like it comes with a plane mat. Oh, oops. oh no. Okay. Sweet. So I don't know how well that's gonna show up. But here is kind of what the play mat it's or perfect. the field looks like. Um I've played one game of Y Schwartz with an attack on Titan deck, so I know like you We'll go over all this in future videos, and we'll learn together. How exciting. I'll come back. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's cute. So on the back, it looks like it's just mostly how to play with this deck. It's also a trial deck exclusive card. Oh, nice. Neat. So I guess if you wanted the full Adventure Time experience, you would definitely want to get the trial deck and some booster boxes. Oh, and then, of course, you can get the supply set as well. We did an unboxing for that earlier today. Very nice. I like this image. It's really cute. Cool. Put that to the side for now. And then, what is this? Ooh, a rule sheet. So that'll be good to learn, too. I think, I think what our plan for this set is, as far as, like, teaching me how to play, is I think we'll just be taking two, two of booster, or trial deck, sorry, and just kind of playing with them. Nice and simple and nothing too crazy. Although this looks kind of crazy. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll... <laughs> all right. So with all that out of the way, oh no, if I can open it. Perfect. Let's get into the trial deck. Out. It's so sweet. I guess it means we can get these. <laughs> no, you Maybe. can still get a foil. Okay, cool. All right, so right out of the gate, we have Finn and Jake, Heroes of Ooh. Uh, continuous, if you have two or more other Ooh characters, this card gets plus 1,000 power. When damage dealt by this card is canceled, this card gets plus 2,000 power mm. until the end of the turn. And then auto, you can pay one stock. Uh, during the turn that this card is placed on the stage from your hand, when this card's battle opponent becomes uh, reversed. reversed, yeah, you may pay the cost if you do put that character in your opponent's clock. Mm. So that's what we call a clock kicker. <clears throat> um, one cool thing about that is it's basically extra damage that can't be cancelled. So once we get into that, um, it's a pretty cool effect. So yeah, And the power bonus is nice. Mm. And it has like a nice like foil to it. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. That should be fine. Cute. Ah, the this next shiny card. Uh, a princess bubblegum stately gown. Uh, and then it looks like she combos with the climax card, which is a card that's like horizontal and it, it does special attack things. Uh, let's see. When this card attacks, if Whistling Choir Deathmatch Championship practice is in your climax area and you have another Ooh character, look at up to four cards from the top of your deck, choose up to one Ooh character from among them, reveal it to your opponent. Put it in your hand and put the rest in your waiting room. Yeah, so that's a really powerful effect. Um, 
It's really good because uh, in Wise Wars, once you deck out, you shuffle your discard pile back into your deck. Um, so you'll shuffle all your sideways cards, what we were talking about early, um, back into the deck so you can prevent yourself from dying. So when you play this with your first, with your first deck, um, you can mill all four and grab, grab the best card out of those four cards, which is really nice. Or after you refresh and you have your second deck, uh, with should have a better ratio of climaxes to non climaxes. Uh, you can only search, you can do one at a time and just grab one and keep keep yourself. So it's a very like high skill like card, um, but you can use it just in the beginning. It's a very easy card to use, but there's a lot of potential for it to be really good. So it's a really nice, nice level one combo. Very popular card in a lot of sets. Nice. Commander Legend cards are fascinating. No? Interesting. Huh. Nice. Yeah, really good card. Yeah. I think my plan for this, I'd really like to build some sort of like Marceline focused deck, but also like a little bit of Ice King and maybe some Bubblegum. Uh, just the way that the character, like her relationship in the show, like with those other characters, I think would be really cool. Mm -hmm. So she'll probably be going in the deck, I think. And she looks so good. <laughs> Alright, uh, Finn Home Remedy. Uh, continuous, if your stock has two or less cards, this card gets plus 1500 power. Um, what was it? If you have two or less. Stock. Okay, so um, early game when you're like first attacking or even your second turn of attacking, um, every time you attack you get a stock. So early game this is going to be a four thousand power, which is really big in English. It's like three five is also pretty good, but it being bigger than that is nice. Mm. I mean, it looks like it comes with four of those. Mm, That's nice. Nice. It's a pretty solid card, I would say. Huh. I think it's really good for a trial deck. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, an, it's an oversized, yeah. I'll take your word for it. I don't know what any of this does. Yeah, no problem. Um, and then this looks like a vanilla because it only has the flavor text, but it is a grade zero at three three k. Mm -hmm. So that seems like just a good like early beater, I guess. Yeah, I think like a normal power for a unit is like twenty five. So by having no effect, it's it's three. Uh, the one we just talked about is supposed to kind of be a small downside because um, like later in the game, once you have more stock, it's really small. Um, but yeah, so being a vanilla, it's going to be a little bit bigger than 2.5. Hmm. Alright, and then we have Jake, Don't Roast Them, uh, which is a level zero. I remember this episode with the flambe. <laughs> uh, so you can pay one stock and put one uh, card from your hand into your waiting room. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one ooh character, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. And then has an auto skill when this card attacks. Choose one of your other characters with Finn in its card name, and that character gets plus 1k power until the end of the turn. Mm, okay, so this is what we call a drop searcher. Basically, you discard a card from your hand and search your deck for any character. Um, of course, it costs the stock, but most decks nowadays play like one of these because it, it's like a fifth copy of any other card in your deck, which is really cool. Also, it has a second relevant effect of giving your Finn's extra power. Um, so that can be useful if you're trying to get over bigger things. So that's nice. I think it's a good card. Yeah, it seems really solid, just being able to search for anything. And then, of course, Jake always having Finn's back. That's going to yeah. be with the show, too. Very on flavor. And there's two uh, of those. Oh, uh, we have two. I'll take them. Two of those for the deck as well, which is nice. And the next one is BMO, Moving Filming Time. Uh, it has an assist skill. All of your characters in the front, in front of this card, get plus five power. 500, sorry. Getting used to these numbers will be a little tricky too. And then auto, when a climax is placed on your climax area, choose one of your characters and that character gets plus one K power until the end of the turn. Um, so it seems like a pretty good assist. Everything in the front row getting 500 power. I'm sorry, I missed that. Oh. I'll take a look at it. Really yeah, good. no problem. Okay. Um, the assist is nice, yes. And then when you play climax, choose one. Um, so it's all about getting power. Um, it would definitely be in the, the back row, so it probably won't be attacking. It's it's pretty weak. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very versatile. I, I would say it's pretty, it's okay for a trial deck. Yeah. It's an okay card. Yeah, there's only one of it in. Alright, next one. Finn and Jake Gauntlet Box Cleared. Uh, continuous skill. All of your other Marceline Vampire tendencies get plus 1k power, and then it has a bond. Ability with Marceline Vampiric Tendencies. You can pay one stock when this card is played. 
uh, and place on the stage. You may pay the cost. You need to more muscling, vampiric tendencies in your waiting room and return it to your hand. So it seems to combo like, really well with that one specific card. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't know what that card is. We'll probably get to it in a second. Um, but I think it's going to be a level three, mm. I think. Um, these are really cool because it supports the level three and it also grabs it. So like later in the game, if you didn't have enough time to like grab your level three off your like combo looking for it, um, this will get you the card you need. So it's like another copy of, of that great level three. Nice. So it sounds nice. like just some really nice consistency for mm -hmm. the deck and yeah. there's two of those in here as well. Alright, next one is another vanilla. This one's at level one and it's Jake no longer pure. <laughs> I remember this episode with the City of Thieves. So again, just pretty pretty self-explanatory, just a level one beater. And there's two of those. All right, and then we have Finn, Daily Diligence, Continuous Field. If you have another Princess Bubblegum Casual, this card gets the following ability, and that ability is auto. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you said, when it goes upside yeah. down? Cool. Uh, you may put the top card of your deck into your stock. So that seems good. Uh, stock is kind of what you use to like pay for like really powerful costs and things. Uh, it seems like it's pretty easy to run out of like if you don't manage your resources really well. So being able to replenish that seems solid. Uh, and then it has another skill. When it attacks, if this card gets plus X power until the end of turn, where X is equal to the number of other OO characters you have times 1K. So, so most of the cards in, well, a lot of the cards in this set, I should say, are characters from OO, like all the main casts are new characters, so that seems really good. Yeah, so it gets it gets really big. So it says other. So it says when it attacks, it gets X uh, other characters. So if you have a full field, um, this is going to get plus four thousand power, so it becomes eleven K, which is really pretty big for a level two. Can get over almost everything. Um, and then if you have Princess Bubblegum Casual, it gets the on reverse. Okay, and then Blind Stock. Um, so we call it a we call it blind stock because you're putting it into your stock without knowing what it is. You don't get a look at it. Oh. Um, so that's good because it's it's free stock, which again you said is a resource that is very valuable. Um, but if it's like a climax in there, you don't want to like have um, climaxes in your stock usually. Um, but it is it is nice because uh, the only other way to really get stock is like attacking. So getting two stock for just like one attack is kind of nice. Um, also, what you can kind of do is attack with this last, and then your blind stock will be on the very top of your stockpile. Um, and then next turn, you can pay out that stock, try to figure out what it is and stuff. So, I would say it's a very solid card. I don't know the card that it combos with. What, what was the name of the card? Uh, Bubblegum Casual. So I saw it okay. on the trial box. It's just okay. for like Bubblegum and some sweatpants. It's got to mm. be in here. Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay. Alright, so. Cool. Alright, next card is level 2, Bimo, uh, doing strange things when no one's around. That's so <laughs> cute. Uh, so it has an act, this little, like, fist symbol. Yeah, it's a counter, or it's a counter symbol. Oh, okay. And then it has a backup 3000 level 2. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can pay one stock, put this card from your hand into your waiting room, choose one of your characters that's being frontal attacked, and that character gets plus 3000 power until the end of the turn. So is this like a defense thing? Yeah, it, so um, the counter effects are defensive um, boosts, essentially. Uh, for the most part, y Shorbs is pretty uninteractive, other than these little like fist, um, the, the counter icons or backup icons. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good. Um, so you pay the one. So it's just your generic 3,000 backup. Um, sometimes it's 2,500 if you have like an additional effect. So like, effect could be like, look at the top card, if it's a character added to your hand, discard a card. So if you look at the top, if it's a climax, then you just leave it there and you cancel. Or if you, if it's a character, you add the hand, discard a card, and you're one step closer to canceling. Whereas this, you don't get any extra effect, but you get way more power to protect yourself. Oh. So usually 2,500 is enough. Um, but yeah, this it's nice having a couple of these in your deck. I don't know if you'd ever play like two. Um, but oh, okay. yeah, there's two in there. The trial deck comes with yeah. two, so we'll see. We'll see when I when I'm doing the tutorial videos. It, it helps protect your threes from other threes, oh. which is nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so the next card is a climax card. Mm. Those horizontal ones is telling you about, uh, and it's called Vampire Kick. 
Continuous, all of your characters get plus 1,000 power and plus 1 soul. Okay. And then during this turn, when the next damage dealt by the attacking character that triggered this card is canceled, deal 1 damage to your opponent. Yeah, so we call this a shot trigger. Um, so yeah, so whenever whenever you trigger this and they cancel the attack, you you burn them 1 damage, which means they take an extra damage, which is which is nice. I would say... 1 or 2. We said 1. Yeah, we said 1. Um, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, the the shot's pretty pretty sweet. Um, I would say these types of climaxes are probably the worst type of climaxes because um, a lot kind of has to go right for this to like be good. Of course, like if you're attacking for like a lethal amount of damage, they're they're nice. But randomly, if you're just flipping them, um, there's no guarantee that your opponent's going to cancel your attack anyway. So if they don't cancel, then you don't get anything out of it. Um, and there's no like card advantage um, included with this type of effect, but it, it's like in a very aggressive effect though. Um, some decks, uh, what how Y Shores balances this is they put shot triggers on like really good cards sometimes. Oh. So then like if you have a really good three, you have to play like a weird like trigger with it, so they can balance things with that. Um, and then it has your generic one thousand power, one soul. So. Uh, if you put it in your climax zone, all your characters get 1,000 power and you do extra damage. It's nice, um, unless you get over multiple characters at the same time. Um, also, if your opponent doesn't have a lot of climaxes in their deck, you can play one of these and try to push for some extra damage. So, um, I don't know what this combos with. Uh, all climaxes combo with, with something. Um, so if you play your climax that turn, similar to this uh, Princess Bubblegum, if you have the corresponding climax, you get like additional effects. So. We'll see what this combo is with in a bit. Mm, interesting. Uh, oh, oh, there's only two. Two of them. Mm, okay. All right. Next climax card is uh, Imagination Hyperdrive. All of your characters <clears throat> get Soul Plus Two as its ability. Mm, okay. Um, so dealing two damage. Yeah. So it's it's more extra damage. Um, also, these are very aggressive climaxes. Um, or like early in the game, if your opponent, if you know your opponent doesn't have a lot of climaxes in, in deck to cancel, slamming this and just doing a ton of extra damage can totally win you games. Mm -hmm. um, but if you if they go into their second deck and they have a lot of climaxes still in there, then if all of your characters are attacking for like three and four now, um, it's very likely they'll they'll cancel some of it. So um, again, I I think this is probably this is also pretty bad. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Well, for a trial deck, I don't know. I think every trial deck comes with two soul triggers. Oh, okay. um, there are some combos that are really good that combo with it, so again, it's a balancing thing. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and then here's that Princess mm. Bubblegum Casual you mentioned earlier. Yeah. She's a level zero auto. When your other Ooh character becomes reversed in battle, choose one of your characters, and that character gets plus 500 power until the end of the turn. <laughs> And then she has an act brainstorm. You can pay a cost and uh, tap this card, rest it. I don't know. Rest. Sorry, okay. magic and vanguard. I don't know the terminology, but you know, turning it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Flip yeah, over four nice cards from the top of your deck and put them into your waiting room. Uh, for each climax revealed among those, draw up to one card. So that seems pretty good. Uh, you do lose your climaxes in your deck, um, which you know for damage denial is kind of, I think, bad. Uh, but being able to draw some cards, that's really good. Um, just getting your combo pieces to, you know, for the next turn. Uh, it is a really good card. Um, I just marked some up here. Okay. Um, yeah, the brains. What does the brainstorm do again? I'm sorry. The uh, draw. Brainstorm. Uh, pay one cost. Rest this card. Flip over four cards from the top mm -hmm. of your deck and put one into the waiting room. Yep. Uh, for each reveal, drop to one card. Okay, so it's a draw brainstorm. So draw brainstorms are they're good. I mean they draw you cards. Usually searching searching is what you want or salvaging from the discard pile is also good. Um, but the the other effect is really sweet. Um, because when your characters start dying, you can pump up the other characters. So if your opponent attacks in the wrong order and is not paying attention, then some of your other characters might get really big and their character won't be able to, to kill your characters anymore. So that's that's a cool card for that. comes with three of them, so that seems pretty good. <laughs> uh, what was the other card that grabbed it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, that's the Marcelino. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't
I don't know. Uh, we do know that one card's like comboed with it, so that's. Oh wait, is it the spin one? Oh maybe. Yeah, it is. Oh. If you have another Princess Bubblegum Casual, this card gets the following ability: uh, when your opponent becomes reverse, you can put the top card. Into so okay, so this helps you replenish your stock. Mm, okay. Neat. Sweet. And three. And then you can use the extra stock to brainstorm and try to draw extra cards. Yeah. And then we got three more of this bubblegum from the beginning. Uh, trial deck exclusive, so that's really nice. Inner skill is really good, so you would definitely want some if you're playing like a red deck or if you want like a bubblegum based deck. Uh, next card is Emerald Princess. Auto, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, this card is plus X, power until the end of turn, where X is equal to the number of ooh characters you get times 500. Mm. Yeah, so um, these these effects are pretty cool. Uh, in White Shores, we call them assassins. Basically, the turn you play it, you can kill really big things, but then on your opponent's turn, you lose all the power, and then it can be like killed in return. Um, so it's 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 used for very specific times. Um, but yeah, it's all the cards. Yeah, there's two of those. All right, and then next one is a level one Marceline Vampiric Tendencies. Oh, nice. So it definitely combos with this card. Mm, okay. uh, if you have two or more other OO characters, this card gets plus 2k until the end, or yeah, just plus 2k power. And then it has an Encore ability, put one character from your hand into your waiting room. When this card is put into your waiting room from the stage, you may pay the cost. If you do, return this card to its previous position as rest. Mm, yes. So I've played a card that's exactly the same as this um, in a different set. Mm. Um, these are, this is a very good card. Um, it costs stock, which is, you know, oh. it, it is a resource, um, but it gets really big, so it's 7-5. And then whenever it dies, you can, if you have a smaller character, like an extra zero, mm -hmm. you can just discard it and then keep her alive. So if your opponent works really hard, like with something like this, to try to get over it, and then you just discard a weak character to keep it alive, and then now it's alive on your turn, you kill their character, and now they have the same problem to deal with again. Oh, um, nice. Also, this combo is really good with the standby trigger, where you get to put... Uh, cards that are higher level than your current level into play for free, so you don't have to pay the stock. So you kind of cheated into play, kind of. Oh. Yeah. Man. So you can put this into play at level zero, and then they can't kill it, or even if they happen to get lucky and kill it, you keep it alive. Nice. So definitely some like just some defense to yes. protect your offense. Yes. Very I really defensive. like that, and that also explains why there's only one in here. Yeah. And the bond, and the bond um, gets this back, which is cool, and also gives the bond a thousand gives this character a thousand power, so it becomes eight five. Oh, so, so it makes it even bigger. Wow, <laughs> man. Sweet. Yeah, I like cards like that. Oh, that seems really good. Uh, next one is Engagement Ring Princess, who's at a level two. She costs a stock as well. And then auto, put one card from your hand into your waiting room. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you can pay the cost. If you do, choose one ooh character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. And then auto, when this card becomes reversed, if this card's battle opponent is level 2 or lower, you may reverse that character. So kind of like, hmm. I don't know, some sort of like poison ability or something. Yeah, so, um, okay, so this is, the first effect is, is a salvage. So anything that grabs a card from your discard pile or waiting room in this game uh, and adds it back to your hand is called a salvage. Um, so this is pretty good. You can discard any card in your hand to get back any character from your hand, uh, from your discard pile back to your hand. Uh, which is pretty sweet. If you get clogged with too many like level zeros, you can get like your level one combos again. Um, you can set up your level threes. Like this is a, this is a pretty cool card. Uh, and then when it becomes reversed or or dies essentially, and your opponent's level two or lower, you may reverse that character. Um, so we call these suiciders. So basically, they crash in and will and will die. And then when they die, they get to kill the other character. Um, so this would be able to kill kill her. Really? For example, yeah, because the less level, but then this, you can just discard a character and save this and look at all that hard work they had to do to try to, yeah, it's, <laughs> this card's really good. Oh, yeah, man, no kidding. But this card seems like yeah. it'd be pretty yeah. good, too, up against things that don't just come back from the Yeah, don't die. <laughs> all right, next up is Lady Ranincorn, universally understood. Uh, level two, cost one stock. Uh, it has an assist skill. All of your characters in the front of this card get plus X power, X is equal to that character's level times 500. Mm -hmm. So the stronger the character that's backing up, mm -hmm. you know, the stronger that power boost is. So that's pretty cool. And then auto, when your other character's battle 
Uh, when your other character's battle opponent becomes reversed, choose one of your characters, and that character gets plus one K power until the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple cool power. things cool things about this card. Um, the first one, the assist. Uh, we call that a level of assist because it gets power based on the level of the character. Um, so if you're level three, you get plus 1500 power. If you're level zero, you get zero power. Um, so you get more power based on your level, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, so it's good in the back row or in the, the backstage. Um, and then whenever, every time you keep killing your opponent's characters, uh, you choose one of your characters and gets more power. So what you can do with this card, and it's not once a turn, it's an auto effect, so you can do it as many times as you want. So you pick off the weakest character, give power to the second one, knock out their character, give power to the next one, and then you can just chain it and knock out all three of your opponent's characters. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do with that as well. So a pretty, pretty solid, good, like, back row card. Yeah, and then we have two of those. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have a level three with two stock for a cost, mm -hmm. uh, and this is Marceline Fond of Pranks. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room. And then she has the auto ability of when this card attacks, choose one of your other OO characters, and that character gets plus X power until the end of the turn, where X is equal to the number of other OO characters you have times 500. Nice. Um, so the first thing that this uh, level three does is heal, which is really important um, in Y Shores, I, I think. Um, it's, yeah, just, just healing is a really powerful effect. Um, the second one seems to play well with the rest of the deck, to where you get a lot of power on your turn to beat over, like, run over things, which is really cool. So it kind of synergizes with a lot of other cards, um, getting the additional power and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, Marcin's one of my favorite characters, so it's really cool. And you get four on the deck, nice. so I think she's kind of supposed to be, like, one of the main boss units, I guess, of the card deck. Yeah, it's not a finisher, so whereas he has an ability to do extra damage, mm -hmm. that can be used to try to kill your opponent, whereas this one is more of like a, a techie where you, you heal and then you get over their character and, and kind of thing. So it's like a mid, a mid level three, I guess. Alright, sweet. Um, and the next one's level two. Uh, it has a two stock cost and it's don't eat those. Choose up to two characters in your waiting room and return them to your hand. Mm, okay, so uh, back to what I was saying about salvaging. Um, this is a salvage two effect where you add two cards from your waiting room back to your hand. Um, pretty cool. Um, it is unfortunately, you can only use it at level two, which is kind of towards the mid to late game. Um, but you can salvage any character so you can get your level threes ready for level three. Oh. Um, also, you're paying two stock, which is a lot, but you're getting two cards. So typically, one stock will grant you like one plus. Um, oh, okay. So two stock gets you two plus yeah, usually. Yeah, two for two. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, yeah. I would argue that like if there was a card that was like one, one, and one, it would be better. Mm. Because this is a lot of resources to use like late game. But it does have its uses. You could grab two of these and then like next turn heal twice. Like a lot of cool things you can do. Also, you can get back your bubble guns if they if they died, and then do the effect again. Oh. So you can like get both of those back. Getting two cards back is, is nice for one card, but it does cost a lot of stock. Okay. So that's the only downside to something like that. Yeah, and it does come with two, so it's not mm -hmm. something like that you'd want to be using every a lot single of, time. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then mm -hmm. next one is the climax card, uh, whistling choir deathmatch championship practice. Uh, which yeah, that's the climax. The combos with that level one bubble gum. All of your characters get plus 1k power and 1 soul. Uh, when this card triggers, you may choose one character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, exactly what we were talking about. More, more salvage. Salvaging is a really powerful well, we card or effect in and White Wars. Have, um, just right getting now, characters like back from your waiting room back to your hand is nice every time you trigger this. Um, and then it has your generic 1,000 power, one, one soul. Um, and it combos with our bubble gum, which is nice. So mm -hmm. she becomes 6k, which is a solid number. Um, but yeah, no, this is my favorite type of, of trigger. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, nice. It comes with four, so I'm glad that it's your favorite. <laughs> well, also, if you have four of your level one combo, you usually you want four of your climax that match with it, so you have the highest possible chance of drawing it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. And then I think these last two cards are ones that we've already gone over. So, yeah. So these are ones are your chances to get foils. So if any of these are foils, that you'll know here. Oh, okay. So, so these are the... another demo. Mm -hmm. We got another sweatpants bubblegum. Oh, we got, oh good, another Marceline, mm -hmm. which is a really good effect. Uh, okay. So you didn't get any fancy foils. Yeah, and then we got the Finn and Jake again. So yeah, nothing crazy this time, but the deck seems pretty
pretty fun. Like yeah, no, it seems like a solid a solid start deck. Like you have a good level one combo on a good climax effect. Um, you have a couple finishers. You got some healers, uh, which is nice. Um, you have some good level ones. Um, it's very easy to like once you buy like some box or packs to just add on to this, and you can definitely like imp improve it. But it's a, it's definitely a good place to start. Oh, for good. sure. Well, perfect. Yeah. And in future videos, we'll definitely be doing like a learn how to play type thing. I'll be learning right alongside with you guys if you want to join us for that. And yeah, I really can't wait to do some adventure time in Y Schwartz. Nice. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, stay safe and see you around.